Hey, what's up everybody? Video 44 coming at you another video. All right, so it's halftime of the Los Angeles Lakers game and efficiency is the issue. Uh, efficiency is just basically what we're dealing with. You guys cannot really shoot very well out there and, uh, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world because honestly, they're getting the reps, um, they're running plays, they're uh, trying to help in other areas, but you're just seeing a situation where the first unit comes in, establishes a lead, and the second unit comes in and gives it away. <clears throat> but right now, it's just about missed shots. Uh, so that's really what it is. We, we still got a, another half of basketball to watch. It's going to be a pretty good one, I think. Uh, Thomas Bryant's been really active, man. The only thing I worry about with Thomas Bryant is he constantly seems to be falling. He's hitting the floor in awkward ways on his shoulder, this and that. You know, as a guy who, who's had injury issues, I can see why. He's going to have to find ways of uh, limiting his falls so he can extend his career. Uh, so that would be something I'd tell him. Like, I love your game, and I don't want you to change the game, but you got to find ways of limiting those falls because it, it's, it's going to make it so that you're not going to play many games. That's just what it's going to be. Um, so, yeah, got to talk about it. Cole Swider, man. I've been on here saying that he's our best shooter. Um, with the mechanics that I've seen him show us already, I really believe that. But I think right now he's in one of the worst slumps he's ever been in, and it's in his head, and it's bad. The good thing is it's the playoffs. I mean the playoffs, the preseason. And so the preseason, <laughs> not the playoffs, different type of P. But um, it's the preseason, and because of it, he will be able to kind of work all that out without it hurting the team at all. Um I think we're going to have to send him back down to G League. I said that yesterday, uh, and I'm going to have to reiterate that now he, because he's going to have to get the minutes. But we, once the regular season starts, if he hasn't worked out these, these issues, uh, we can't let them hurt the team. That's really what it comes down to. And I do want him to get his minutes. You know, So it's one of those situations where it's like he's not going to be able to get it on our squad without doing so. So I think he'll help us. I just think we're going to have to help him and that means putting him through an opportunity uh with the g league to develop better and get his handle going his get, get his conditioning going getting used to um just whatever is necessary you know as he as he looks at film and what has to be take place here i think you'll find that he's helped him his team in some other areas he's rebounded well uh he's, he's been act effective on the defensive end um in some areas you know but the shots and the shot selection can be better so uh, right now, it's just it's it, it's a it, it's bad. It's real bad right now. I think he's about 0 for seven, and uh, the shot selection could be better. You know, it, it's not that his shot selection started off bad. It's just that now that he's taking bad shots, I think he's a little out of rhythm. It's in his head. So I'm not I'm not completely down on him. I just understand what I'm looking at. He's an undrafted player uh, with a very very high level skill, um, but you know. He's playing the pros right now. And this is the beginning of his career. And, you know, some guys come out like gangbusters. And some guys come out with the jitters. And he's coming out with the complete jitters. Uh, so <clears throat> that's just what it is. It ain't deeper than that. Uh, but but I do believe in his ability to shoot. I still think he's the best shooter we have overall. But there are other things, as we said, leading up to this, uh, there are other things that he's going to have to be able to get good at in order to be uh, helpful as our shooter on the floor as regularly as, regularly as we will need him uh, as our best shooter. So there's going to be have to be other things he has to get better at, and that'll take time. So, you know, that that's just the issue there. Uh, yeah, so Matt Ryan's kind of having a similar issue. Um, it's just not falling for guys, you know. Our shooters are not able to hit our shots. Um, Walker, he's had some fantastic opportunities to drive at the basket. Had a fantastic uh, behind-the-back move where he got to the lane and twisted up and under and did a fantastic layup. But the majority of what I'm seeing out there from him is just horrible shot selection. Just just god-awful shot selection. K, uh, you know, it's one of those situations where it's like it's THT level <laughs> shot selection. And so he's going to have to um, – this is one of those situations where if he wants to stay stick around the league, I'm just gonna put it out there. If he wants to stick around the league, he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to sure up his efficiency, and he's gonna have to do it dramatically. 
uh, because now you're on the Lakers stage. And so the last thing you want to be is the guy that comes in and clanks as bad as you're clanking right now while everybody else is clanking. It's just, it hurts you. But the one thing I do think, and one thing that I'm definitely excited about, is the fact that Darvin Ham's system is meant for players who slash. Um, the lanes are open. So I think what we're learning is what guys can do and can't do, cannot do. So I think there are going to be opportunities for him to do what it is that he does best in this offense. So I actually think the role that he's going to ultimately find himself in as the season progress, progresses will allow him to be a nice regular scorer for us. But right now, we're just seeing the worst of him, and that's unfortunate because it's the first time we're seeing him. But he's a weapon. That dude has a lot of athleticism, and he's going to dunk on people. And so that's what he's going to help us with. So as long as we put him in positions to do what it is that he does, uh, we'll be fine. And see, that's what it is with our team. That's going to be the, the challenge for, for, for our club is to help one another do things that they do best because we have guys who are, are guys who are limited. You know, we have players who can do certain things but not others. And if they stay in their lane and do the things that they can do, they will help us and they'll help us a lot. But if they start doing things that they cannot do well, uh, they will hurt us and they will hurt us a lot. So that's just going to be the story with our guys. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that because we have the system and they come complement one another do you see what i mean like they should be able to do what each other cannot do together it should work but as long as everybody stays within what it is they do well it works so people have to know themselves in this in this system and they have to know you know basically ultimately what they're going to do know each other and so that'll come with time and in and, and practice so um i see room for improvement and I anticipate that improvement. I think that these guys are struggling right now. But once they start getting enough practice time with one another, you can see that they do the right things for one another in terms of complementary ways. So I'm not worried. Nope. This is exactly what I'm expecting to see. I just understand that we're going to have to be patient with these young guys. Uh, Scotty Pippen and his playmaking has been excellent. Uh, Max Christie, the way that he's rebounding the ball and his mid-range jump shot. Uh, the way that he's attacking and getting, you know, ultimately involved in defensive situations. I'm loving his decision making out here, not forcing things. You can definitely see he's grown from last game to tonight. So uh, it's just one of those situations where you can definitely see the upside is there for Max. Um, <clears throat> you know, I wasn't paying too much attention to the other team in terms of uh, really zeroing in on what they were doing in the first half. I was more so focused on what we were doing. Honestly, it was. It was one of those one-sided type of things for me. Um, you know, I know Rudy Gobert is out there, D'Angelo Russell, uh, Jordan McLaughlin. You, you you definitely see those guys running around. But I think the intent on for me was just <laughs> watching the shot selection and just paying attention to, to just how, how, how difficult uh, it was to score out there. You know, that's really what it was. It was just kind of like a, a struggle. You know, the first quarter honestly felt like two quarters um, to me. <laughs> it didn't flow like yesterday's game, and I understood why that was because stars aren't out there. And, you know, to a point, I think uh, you got to respect the fact that our guys are putting up a good fight because they do have some of their starters out there. You got Anthony Edwards out there playing as well, Rudy Gobert. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's no wonder why they <clears throat> have the lead at the moment, but I don't think it's because we haven't been able to keep up with it. I just think some of the good looks that we're getting, we're not hitting. You know, we're getting good looks. Don't get it twisted. It's not like the Lakers are like the the Timberwolves are playing hellacious defense or anything like that. They're not. We're getting our looks. We're just breaking them. Damn near all of them. What I would tell Cole Swider is to switch your shoes, man. I'm looking at my phone, this little bitty screen, and all I see is these little red shoes running around, tapping around, and breaking shots. Change the shoes. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's something. But, but change shoes. <laughs> and stretch. It's just a theory I got. Usually legs have a lot to do with shots from what i understand obviously the entire body mechanics but if you're missing a lot of shots in my mind um something different has to happen with the muscles in the legs like just something different and, and just from my experience in their life non-athlete knowing nothing usually if i'm trying to get some type of strength going in within my legs it has to come from from stretching first man if i'm going to do my squat regiment i'm going to feel a lot better after i've stretched than i did when i before so if it has anything to do with the legs i would imagine if i'm a shooter and i'm just not hitting anything i'm going to take my 
take about 20 minutes and I'm just going to do a full leg stretch crazy. And I'm coming back up there to see if I feel different. I wonder if it works. I do not know, but I've never heard anybody trying it. So that's what it is, man. It's just a little thought out there. I don't know nothing. I ain't no basketball player, but I mean, it's worth a shot. I'd imagine. So this is what I got to say, man. BDF 44. Can't wait to see the second half of basketball. Thank you guys for rocking with me and I'm out.